Welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at a Sisyphus table. This here is essentially a kinetic art table that uses a metal ball to go ahead and create designs on a sand plate. Now this also uses RGB lights and essentially creates a very unique atmosphere. Now this here is quite futuristic mainly because of the fact that it can design just about anything with the app control device. Now if you guys want to learn more about them, check out their link down below the description and to together we'll be actually unboxing it, building it, and see exactly what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so check it out guys. This here's the packaging. This here's our box. Awfully heavy box, about 100 pounds or so. Uh, and uh, this one here is the metal uh, coffee table one, but they do have different sizes. Now, I believe this is about three feet, uh, but it should be quite interesting, especially if you're going to keep it in this room here as our centerpiece. Let's open it up. Oh wow, that's a pretty big piece of glass. All right, so this here is everything that you get. So you get your table, uh, we get a ring, which is this piece right over here. We had our glass top, which we put in the other room for right now. We have our rubber bumpers. Uh, we have our power supply cord. We have our felt feet. And then we also have our sand, which are these two, as well as our steel ball right there. And then lastly, a sand comb. So that is that and essentially everything that we get with it. So now the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and build this thing and see what it looks like as a whole. All right, so this here is actually what's underneath it. Uh, some kind of Arduino, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, and I'm kind of curious to see how this all plays out. So now is the fun part is pouring the sand. <laughs> Now place the steel ball in the middle of the table, just like that. All right, so now we plugged it in. We have to wait about 90 seconds. Oh, whoa. That is trippy. Look at that. All right, ball's moving. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and get the glass top next uh, and set this up. All right, so so we just went ahead and turned it on and it's doing its thing. And I have to say, it's definitely a really mesmerizing piece. I mean, I'm actually mind blown right now on how this is working. So from my understanding, there is a computer, might be Arduino, I'm not exactly sure, but it is actually controlling a magnet that is moving back and forth. Now this precise mechanism is allowing to go ahead and move this metal ball to essentially create a design in the sand. And based on how much sand you put in there, it creates a unique depth. Now this also features an RGB light, which we'll be controlling in just a little bit, but you can go ahead and create a very stunning display. Now I'm actually a big fan of the way it looks right now. Now this here, I'm not sure if it's just calibrating or if it's actually just kind of doing its own thing, but it definitely looks very cool. And you can see how it's just kind of slowly moving about. Uh, looks very mesmerizing and there's no other way to put that other than that word. It is absolutely mesmerizing. <laughs> and yes, let's go ahead and download uh, the app next and let's take a look at that. All right, so check it out guys. So this here is our main app, kind of showcases what we're drawing. So right now it gives you a demonstration of exactly what it's making. So in about three hours, this will be a completed photo of exactly what we're looking at here. Now, if I click on library, I can click on tracks. Tracks are essentially uh, different drawings. So you can scroll through here and find one that you like. So like for instance, if I click on just say like this one here, I can actually get a better picture of what it looks like. Uh, and then you can even go ahead and add it to a playlist or favorite it and essentially create your own custom playlist based on the tracks that you like. Not only that, uh, if you click on playlists here, you can see a variety of playlists that are online, or you can even draw your very own and create your own design. Now you can even put like a conflicts logo on here and basically whatever you want to do is kind of up to you, but it's kind of cool on how you can do that. Now you can uh, adjust the settings, you can mirror it, 
uh, you can apply and multiply it and there's a lot of things that you can do based on your own personal preference now in your community you can go ahead and create an account and see what other people are designing which you can sign up for and then under settings you can adjust the speed of this thing you can make it very very slow you can make it very very fast uh, you can adjust the brightness of this thing so i can make it really bright where it's at right now or i can make it really really dim or just completely off altogether as it's doing its thing uh, I have an auto brightness, so I mean, it's really up to you what you want to do with that. Now you have different color modes. So you have like spread where you can do two different colors. So you can do like, you know, two variations like this. Uh, you can do a comet, which is essentially like a pulsating color like this, where it's kind of coming off from one end versus another. Uh, you have rainbow, which is essentially a rainbow. <laughs> uh, and then you have paint based on, uh, it says your color position. And then a demo, which kind of goes through all the different colors. Now you have firmware update and night mode, uh, which you can automatically shut it down based off of your own time span. And then you can just simply hit go to sleep to turn it off. Now under advanced mode kind of shows you all the specific features here. So you have advanced lights, advanced movements. So you can adjust every little thing on here, which is really nice. So based on what you want to do, it's entirely up to you. Now, overall, I'd say it's actually a really, really cool design concept. So let's go ahead and fast forward and see what this looks like completed. All right, well, there you guys have it. Overall, it's actually a really cool design concept. Definitely a unique way of creating something both kinetically artistic in a room like this one here or just in any room to be honest i love how it just kind of does its own thing and has a very almost artistic vibe that's really hard to explain in words now i would highly recommend it, especially if you're in the market for something that's unique and that's something a little bit different than what anyone else has this here hand down is a great way to go now with that said if you guys had any questions comment down below otherwise thank you guys for watching see you guys next time take care now bye bye